Good afternoon, all beautiful souls. When I say beautiful souls, I really mean that each and every person sitting here is beautiful inside out. So I'm Sonal Barmecha, chartered accountant, turned into a restauranteur at the age of 40. So guys, age is not the number. You can start if you wish to. You can start at any age and you can still run through your passion and accomplish whatever you want. So let me come directly on the topic of the day. I have a very interesting topic because everybody loves food and I'm going to take you through the experience the food industry presents you. So what is experience economy? Experience economy is a combination of food of the product services which is only central and focused on experience. Experience economy is not a fluke. It is well thought and curated about the customer's journey. Experience is achieved with the array of vibes, vision, sound, music, crockery, cutlery, plating and the vibes of the restaurant. So this is what precisely I'm telling you about experience economy. Now let me elaborate and tell you more about it. Why experience economy? Because every day you're going out, you're eating, but you're anticipating, you're wanting to experience every time something different. When you think of going to a restaurant or going to have a family get together, you think that what's new in the market? What shall I try? So, you know, always there is an anticipation from the customers that they want something new in the market. That's why we curate these experiences. Now, let me elaborate and give you examples. There are two different and extreme examples I'm trying to give you. One is the village experience and the other is the Michelin star restaurant experience. So when you go to a village, actually people don't go to village village. Nowadays cities have really curated an experience like a village where you can go and enjoy and feel and have a look like a village. So when you go to a village, what do you see? You see everything earthy, everything green, fresh, vegetables grown there and it's like farm to table. The centric point there is only food. We don't focus on how the uniforms are, how the ambience is, how the cutlery is, crockery is. So the experience there is totally different. Whereas when you go to a restaurant, a high-end restaurant or a Michelin star restaurant, the experience is totally different. The first thing is you have to be very formal in your dressing sense. When you go and sit, you are always in the awe and you are always awestruck with what is going to come next. Because they give you an experience of 4 course meals, 8 course meals, 11 course, 12 course and so on. So when you get your first portion, the portion size is so small because their focus is on plating, the crockery, the cutlery, the tableware the whole ambience and it is very plush niche. So when you go and sit there and when the first course of meal comes to you, it's so small because they want you to take you till 12 courses, right? So the first course is so small, the moment you see it, you think, am I gonna be full today? Is this the portion size am I gonna eat? But then trust me guys, when you eat the 12 portion, you will be till bottleneck. So that is the, totally different 360 degrees of experience. Now, in between this, what are the kind of restaurants? What are the kind of experiences people give you? So there are South Indian restaurants. There are restaurants which are like small cafes. There are coffee shops. There are restaurants nowadays, uh, it's a rage that restaurants are on the air, restaurants are under the sea, restaurants are in the forest. So people want to basically give different kinds of experience. When you go to a South Indian restaurant, you know that the time limit of sitting in the restaurant is just 15 minutes, not more than that. Or maximum, if you're in a big group, you sit for half an hour, right? So you know that the moment you enter, there is the aroma of coffee, there is the aroma of all South Indian delicacies. Then your focus is just eating the food, getting up and going away. So you're not focusing on oh, how the decor is and you're not spending time there. But then when you go to a cafe, there are like people who are coming with their laptops, sitting, chatting for a longer period, just with a cup of coffee. So there the mindset is different, there the experience is totally different. But again, when you go to a fine dine restaurant, the experience is totally different. You go with your family, you spend some time and then you see each and every detailing what is done there. Then there are experiences like bars, clubs, there you see there is a lot of loud music, there is lights, there is that experience is totally different. 
now the recent reach is about organic well being holistic living kind of restaurants so i own one of them and i could easily relate and take you through that experience how did we create an experience first thing is when you want to create something unique you have to understand that what's the gap in the market so for me the gap 6 6 years back was there were no health food restaurants in india so being a fitness freak i thought i wanted this kind of food and i never compared with what people are doing i was so focused on only what i want to accomplish so it was very easy for me to design something unique because there was no comparison there was no competition so we curated an honestly healthy experience for our guests so how did we do that so it was focused on well being so when we when you enter such kind of organic or well being or holistic restaurants you will see there is chakras there are buddhas the crockery cutlery what is used is earthy the water we serve is in copper glass and the ambience is totally different the music also sings with your ambience so it is very very important that everything the synchronization has to happen together to create one experience because we believe in sustainability we make our own straws so we make banana leaf straws our bachas hand roll them themselves so there is small detailing when you come you will not understand what detailing we are Uh, i mean offering you all but then when we become the face because this unique type of restaurants you really need to connect with your guests you need to be the face of your restaurant you need to explain them what experience we are giving you i am the face of the restaurant and i connect with people and i try to tell them that we are using all indian local ingredients and we have given them a continental look and why we are using water which is infused with tulsi what are the health benefits of food we are serving so when i take them through the experience i take them to the concept what we are giving it's imbibed in them then they enjoy it in a better way so what i'm trying to tell you is when you try to give a unique kind of experience you need to connect with your guest you need to be face of your restaurant only then guest will totally imbibe and understand what kind of experience you're giving them now what is very very important in this experience economy journey the whole team has to be on the same page so you're creating something unique but if your chefs your stewards your utility your front office your uh, hostess if everybody knows what we are doing if everybody is not in the same page it doesn't work well so experience requires lot of recurring effort so there is always a point when the saturation is there the plateau comes the curve is flat you know people have enjoyed it quite a bit and then again they want something new in the market so what do you do how do you do you research market you see what's new in it so you have to upgrade yourself keep updated with what's new in the market and again there has to be a synchronization like your uniform your logo your vibes the music the way you talk the way your menu card is made everything needs to be synchronized used well and again when you try to curate a unique experience you need to go some extra mile and wait for your success because when you're curating something new success doesn't come overnight you know you have to wait you have to give some time to your customer you have to explain you have to make them understand once it is accepted the sky is the limit sir now I would like to explain you how the sales successes with your lifespan and scalability. So restaurant business and F&B when I say F&B it's food and beverage industry it's very huge industry. So in this industry three things are very important. The ambience, the food and the service. So if you have good product and good experience with the good service then your sales are going to scale up. If you have only good product and average experience the sales will come down a bit because after a certain point if the only the product is good the ambience is not good the experience is not good they're not well spoken stewards if the whole experience once you leave this place is not very off off again the sales drop out and if your product is average and the experience is good that also doesn't work but if your product is average and the experience is also average it doesn't work at all so it's very very important for us to always upgrade ourselves and see that our product our services and ambience all are top notch so 
again, the last and the least, what I want to say is, do you all know what is going to be next in the market, in this experience economy? So till this, now, whatever is in rage is all about organic type of restaurants. But what next? What is going to happen next? Anybody, any guesses? What's going to be the next kind of experience? Any thoughts? Okay, so, yes? Yes. Cloud kitchens are big time because during a pandemic, what people did is they sat at home, they called for the food, and that has become a rage. And yes, cloud kitchens are working. But according to me, what I think is, if you want a restaurant experience, see, cloud kitchens work better, you're sitting at home. So it's not giving you an experience. It's upcoming market for sure. Product industry and cloud kitchens are the upcoming market, but they don't give you an experience, right? So in experience economy, what I feel is, the next would be Ayurveda and Sattvic food. Because there are a lot of people who are juggling with a lot of diseases, like hypertension, people are into stress, BPs, diabetes, cancer. The amount of patients is so high that we need to go back to our roots. So our grandfathers and grand grandparents ate so healthy that, you know, I don't know when their hair would get gray. I mean, they didn't eat any junk. So what they ate is what they wear. So there's a very common and good sentence in Hindi. They say, Jaisa an vaisa man, and what you eat is what you are. So food is such a centric part. The moment you change it, the moment you change into your lifestyle, it really gives good effects. So now I think what is the inexperienced industry, what's next is it's going back to roots. I mean, what is going to come is giving people an Ayurvedic experience, giving people Sattvic experience, like home cooked food, but the plating and the ambience and the service would be top notch. So that is what is going to come back. Thank you so much.